hello friends welcome to your unknown deep soul in one channel and today i'm gonna show you a simple meal plan for dinner you can make in just half an hour it's really easy very quick i'm gonna make potato soya chunk sabji today with chapatis and i'm gonna serve it with yogurt and some salads so let's see how i'm gonna make it here i have switched on the heat on high and i put my pressure cooker on it and while my pressure cooker is getting done i'm gonna chop my onions and here i have done my onions and i'll put some oil into it i'm taking just one and a half tablespoon of oil here until my oil is getting done i'm gonna chop my tomatoes i have taken one medium sized tomatoes you can take two or three as tangy you want your veggie and now i'm gonna add spice into it i'm gonna add one teaspoon of cumin into and then i'm gonna add my onions into it i'll wait till the onions are golden brown until the onions are getting done i'm gonna cut my green chili you can use two three as many spicy one my daughter is gonna eat so i'm not gonna use too much and i'm chopping my potatoes now i have taken three medium sized potato and i'm cutting them lengthwise and here my onions are almost done and i'm washing my potatoes now i peeled washed then i cut and then i again washed them and now i'm adding one teaspoon of coriander powder and half teaspoon of turmeric powder and gonna add some tomatoes into it and I will wait till the tomatoes are mushy and soft now you can see I can clean my chopping board so always clean as you go so your countertop is always clean now I'm gonna add red chili powder into it and I'm gonna add salt as per your taste salt helps to get tomatoes cook fast so i use it after adding the tomatoes just after 30 40 second and till my tomatoes are done i'm putting my wok on high heat i'm gonna make gajar kahalwa today tomorrow is shivratri so i thought to make some kind of sweet so what can be better than gajar kahalwa now i have added uh, tomato potatoes and my soya chunks into that and i just um, soak the soya chunks for around one hour and then i rinsed it and i uh, squeezed them out and added here and i'm adding around one and a half cup of water here and here i have added one tablespoon of ghee and i'm adding the carrots it's around 750 grams of carrot for my curry i'll wait till one whistle and i'll keep stirring my carrots and here carrots are looking quite soft and mushy to me all the water has been evaporated and now i'm gonna making dough so i have taken one and a half cup of wheat flour and i have taken half medium sized broccoli i steamed it and then i made a puree out of it sorry for the camera direction you can't see me properly so just wheat flour broccoli puree some salt as per your taste and uh, some cumin powder if you like it and here one whistle has come so i have switched off the flame now sorry i have done the same on in heat on the sim and here my carrots all the water is evaporating and my dough is almost done keep stirring your carrots don't make them burn and here my veggie is done i have switched off the flame now i'm gonna add sugar i'm adding around half cup of sugar you can use as per your taste how sweet you want if you are diabetic or you have sugar problem you can skip this one as well now here i have taken some almonds and i'll microwave them for around one minute so the skin will come out easily and here after the sugar all the water is evaporated again now i'm gonna eat uh, here uh, skimmed powder if you have khoya you can use khoya here as well but here in uk i don't find khoya so i eat milk powder don't add um, too much at once just add it gradually and keep mixing it otherwise there will be big lumps 
so here i am using around one and a half cup of milk powder i have added some cashews and almonds as well if you want you can add some raisins but i don't like raisins in my halwa i like the crunch of almonds and the cashews in halwa and after this you don't need to cook them too much and now i'm gonna add half teaspoon of cardamom powder and our halwa is almost ready just mix it nicely we're not gonna eat it today it's for tomorrow it's shivratri so i'm gonna uh, serve it to bhagwanji first and then we will take it as a prasad so i will save it for tomorrow and i will take it out now and here my veggies also done i will check it now it's looking fine to me if you feel it is thick you can add some boiling water here but for me it's fine and now i'm gonna add half teaspoon of garam masala into it and it gives really nice aroma now i'll keep it aside and i'll start making my chapatis here i have taken medium size bowl and i'll start rolling it i have kept the on high heat and put some ghee there i always put ghee on my rotis it is really good for kids bachcho ko ghee ki roti zarur khilaye unke acche development ke liye bahut zaruri hai now i'll wait till the roti is half way done and then i will flip it over and i will wait till there the brown spots on the other side and then i will just put it on direct heat and you can see my roti is all puffed up and i'm going to make rest of my rotis by this one and half cup of flour i'm going to make around 12 to 13 rotis it is enough for three people and now here is my platter ready my soya bean potato sabji chapati served with yogurt and the salad please give a big thumbs up if you like this video don't forget to share comment and subscribe it's free and it means really lot to me this is protein packed dinner try it out if you don't eat any kind of meat you are vegetarian then it is for you try it out thank you so much for watching Bye bye